Hello everyone, welcome to our work on predicting user intent and satisfaction with dialogue-based conversational recommendations. I'm Wan Ling, a PhD student from Hong Kong Baptist University, and this work was done with my supervisor, Dr. Li Chen. First, let me introduce the background. Nowadays, dialogue systems or chatbots have become more popular in our daily life. For example, you can speak to the intelligent assistant on your phone, like saying, can you recommend to me a comedy family movie for tonight to ask for a recommendation? This is one type of task-oriented dialogue system that you can communicate with it in natural language when you want to find a movie or a piece of music. We also call it dialogue-based conversational recommender system. Compared to traditional recommender system, this kind of system can interactively obtain users' feedback on recommendations. This figure shows the framework of this type of dialogue systems. The system needs to understand the user's utterance, check their current state, and then select the appropriate action to respond to the user in natural language. Currently, most of existing studies can only handle one-shot recommendations, which means the system will end the conversation after presenting one or multiple recommendations to the user no matter if the user is satisfied with the recommendation or not. But in reality, users may interact with recommender in multiple turns until they find the desired item. So, to build multi-turn dialogue-based conversational recommender systems, it's vitally important to predict the user's intent. User intent refers to user's goal when they interact with the system so that the system could incrementally refine its understanding of users' preferences and improve recommendations to serve users' needs. In addition, it is also important to predict the user's satisfaction with the recommendation. Satisfaction indicates whether the user's goal is fulfilled or not. This can help the system select the appropriate action to carry out. But so far, few studies have investigated these issues in dialogue-based conversational recommendations. Therefore, in our work, we studied these critical problems. To do the user intent prediction, firstly, it is important to understand how users interact with recommenders. Currently, only few studies identify several user intents in the recommendation dialogue. For example, one research work identified some frequent user intents like recommendation and comparison these intents were identified from questions posted in the community sites. And another research work classified users' initial queries into objective, subjective, and navigational goals, and then identified three intents for follow-up queries. But the collected queries were prompted by their predefined system questions. So that means for these existing works, the user data were not collected through natural conversations. Therefore, for our first objective, we aim to analyze multi-turn human conversation to understand the dialogue-based interaction between users and recommenders. For user intent prediction, we found that rare studies have investigated this problem specific to conversational recommendations, possibly because of the lack of a well-established taxonomy and the annotated data. So we reviewed the related work in the field of conversational search and general dialogue systems, and we found some machine learning methods and deep learning methods that can be applied in solving this problem. Motivated by these studies, we defined various categories of features and also introduced a new type of features, context features, to predict user intents in dialogue-based conversational recommendations. And we also used conventional machine learning and deep learning methods to investigate this task. Similarly, field research has studied user satisfaction prediction in this context. So we surveyed the related work in other contexts. Inspired by research work that incorporated user intents as features to identify user satisfaction. In our third objective, we particularly consider both user intents and recommender actions as dialogue behavior features to perform this prediction. So in our work, we have three research questions. How can we classify users' intents and recommenders' actions? And then, how can we accurately predict the user's intents given the utterance? And the last one, how does user satisfaction relate to their intents and recommender actions? And how can we predict user satisfaction? 
To address our first question, we build two taxonomies to classify user intents and recommended actions respectively. For these studies, we use the Ragdoll dataset, which is a public movie recommendation dialog dataset. This figure shows a dialog example. The recommender is responsible for helping seeker find interesting movies. During this interaction, the seeker can give feedback on recommendations, such as, I did see that one, but I didn't really like it. We processed the raw dialog data and finally got 253 satisfactory dialogues where the seeker have accepted at least one recommendation. We also got 83 unsatisfactory dialogues that do not contain any recommendation accepted by the seeker. By examining this dialogue data, we used the grounded theory approach to develop a hierarchical taxonomy to classify users' intents. Specifically, we came up with three top-level intents, ask for recommendation, add details, and give feedback. With the established taxonomy, we annotated all the selected data for our analysis and subsequent prediction task. In our analysis, we found that the intent give feedback more frequently occurred than other two top-level intents. In addition to giving feedback like accept or reject a recommended item, there are some critiquing-based intents. Stickers with critic specific feature make critics to add more constraints and request similar items to compare. From the recommender's perspective, we found that human recommenders tend to recommend items or expand the recommendation. These two actions are quite common in the recommendation dialog. Based on our established taxonomies, we address our second questions related to user intent prediction. This is a multi-label classification problem because in our data, one user utterance may contain more than one intent. To address this problem, we compare eight machine learning models and two deep learning models. For machine learning methods, we adopted three typical transformation strategies to transform multi-label classification problem into a single-label problem. Inspired by related work in other contexts, we defined various feature categories including the content features that capture the content information and discourse features that provide linguistic characteristics and sentiment features. And we also introduced a new type of features, context features, that leverage the information in the previous interactions, such as user intents and recommended actions. For the evaluation, we adopted these four commonly used evaluation metrics. Here comes our experimental results. This table shows the performance of different methods for this prediction. We can see overall XGBoost can achieve the best performance no matter of which transformation strategy is used. As for transformation strategy, the classification chain is the most effective one, possibly because it considers the label dependency. And this table shows the two deep learning models did not perform better than XGBoost which may be because of our limited annotated data. Then we used XGBoost to compare the performance with different combinations of feature categories. From this table, we can see the performance of considering content features is better than considering other three feature categories, and these course features are more effective than context features. But combining context features and content or discourse features can achieve better performance than combining content and discourse features. Incorporating context features can significantly boost the prediction performance. Also, combining all these feature categories can achieve the best prediction accuracy, which suggests that each feature category has contribution to improving the prediction accuracy. In order to further investigate the context features about preview seeker intents and recommended actions, we compare the performance when considering different number of dialog turns. This figure shows that considering both seeker intents and recommended actions in the previous one turn is slightly better than only considering the previous recommended actions. While the performance decreases when more turns are involved, possibly because the latest conversation is more relevant to users' current intent. In addition to seeing the performance over all intent labels,
when investigated the performance in terms of each intent. From this table, we can see some intents such as SIM and SEPT can achieve relatively high accuracy. But for some of the other intents, such as provide preference, reject, and critiquing based intents, it is still challenging to predict them accurately. From features perspective, we can see all of these feature categories can contribute to the prediction, especially content and context features. Now that we have introduced how we classify user intent and recommended actions, and how we predict user intent, in the following, let's look at our work on the third question, user satisfaction prediction. Before doing the prediction, we investigated the relationships from user intents and recommended actions to user satisfaction. Specifically, we computed the second level intent and action distribution for both satisfactory and unsatisfactory dialogue. And we illustrate the results with these two bar charts. In terms of user intents, we can see Seekers have more often seen the recommended item and are likely to add details to indicate their preferences in unsatisfactory dialogues. Regarding recommended actions, the action explained more frequently occur in the satisfactory dialogues, implying that providing explanation is likely to increase users' acceptance of the recommended items. This results motivate us to incorporate them as features to do the satisfaction prediction. For satisfaction prediction, that is, given a fixed number of dialogue terms, we predict if the users will finally accept the recommendation. Motivated by previous findings, we particularly consider the dialogue behavior features, including user intents and recommended actions. And we also use these utterance level features to do the prediction. Here are the results. This table shows the performance of different machine learning methods. We can see the multi-layer perception can achieve the best precision and F1 score. From the table on the right, the results show that the combination of all the feature categories cannot achieve better performance than dialogue behavior features, suggesting that the dialogue behavior features are more effective for satisfaction prediction. Similar to user intent prediction, we compare the performance when considering different number of dialogue terms. The results show that leveraging user intents and recommended actions in the previous one term can achieve the best results. So in conclusion, our work has established two hierarchical taxonomies respectively for user intent and recommended actions. For predicting user intents and satisfactions specific to dialogue-based conversational recommendations, we identify effective classification models and defined various features categories. And our results have demonstrated the effectiveness of these features for intent and satisfaction prediction. By the way, our annotated recommendation dialogue dataset has been publicly available at the link below. You're welcome to use it to conduct more interesting and meaningful research. For our future work, we intend to verify the taxonomy's generalizability to other dialogues and product domains. Since in this work, we just analyze a set of dialogue data about movie recommendations. Also, we will continue to label more dialogue data and identify whether the deep learning methods will become superior when the dataset is enlarged. Lastly, we want to investigate the temporal sequence of utterance and responses within the dialogue, which may be useful for improving the prediction accuracy. Thank you for listening. I'm happy to take any questions, and you're also welcome to send us an email if you have any questions.